So he's getting pumped. His heart rate's pumping up. He's screaming at the camera. He's like Coach Greg. Sometimes I do these videos and I'm sweating right through my shirt. It happens. You get passionate. You express yourself. Coach Greg, and today's video is about Joe Linder. He just recently made a video about his introduction to steroids, what he went through, the negatives, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in detail, okay? I highly suggest you go watch the video because a lot of you, you think steroids is all just amazing. You're just gonna get huge and there's no problems, okay? This guy explains it, he doesn't hold anything back, so after watching this video, go and check his out start to finish, especially if you haven't used them before because you don't really know what to expect. He goes into it. I'm gonna explain a little bit here how I first got in touch with steroids, the true story. In case you don't know or realize or think, Ouch. I've already done a natty or not on this guy. And so in case you didn't know, he's not natural, okay? He's not trying to say he's natural. He does end up saying he's on HRT like me, okay? So we're gonna get into all that and go watch the video and comment. This is the video you've all been waiting for. Yeah, man, finally I come up with the truth because I'm so sick and tired of people accusing me of this and that and I'm like, brother, listen, let me tell you the truth. So a lot of people have been accusing him of lying, about not admitting what he's on or taking more drugs than he's on, okay? He is ripped, he's always shredded. So a lot of people say, hey, if you look like that, you gotta be on trend, you gotta be on every drug in the world. Meanwhile, you don't. If you have really good genetics, amazing things can happen even on HRT or even natural. Now this guy, he's not natural, but a lot of people on the internet are what we call fake naturals or fake natties. Why? Well, A, it might be illegal. You're not gonna make a video and announce to the world, hey everybody, I'm breaking the law, I'm an idiot, come arrest me. Okay, so a lot of people have to lie on purpose because, well, hey, why wouldn't they lie? They don't wanna to go to prison, okay? A lot of people that are fake natties are kids or teenagers. You think their mom or dad would appreciate if they came up and made a video and say, hey, I'm 17, 18 years old and I'm on testosterone. So first up, I started training, right? When I was like, I mean, 17 or something, it's like 10 years ago. I was working in a club. Anyway, so these guys, the other security guys, they um, were quite built and they were quite much older than me. And so these guys, they told me like, oh man, oh, you train as well? I mean, yeah, you could take something. And I'm like, no way, bro. I could take something. You meet friends, they're doing it and they're talking about it and saying, hey, you know, you could do this. So you're a young person and you probably can relate to this because at some point you're going to meet somebody that does steroids that brings it up and says, hey, do you want some, okay? Then you have to make the decision. Do I take it or do I not take it? If you're easily influenced, you're most likely gonna just do whatever they say. You are. They're gonna be well-built, muscled up guys and they're gonna sound like they know what they're talking about. They're gonna say, take this, this and this at this dose. And what should I take? Okay, then they're like, Oh, yeah, you know, you could take the anabol. That would be good for your first try, never trying something. And I'm like, oh yeah, Tebow? Ah, that's tablets, right? Okay, tablets. When I was younger and I would tell people, hey, yeah, I do steroids, be like, oh, that's no big deal. And be like, yeah, I inject testosterone. What? Why do you inject stuff? Oh my, that's so hardcore. Meanwhile, the injectables are literally healthier than the pills. Okay, but pills seem cool, it's just a pill. As soon as you have to inject, oh my goodness. But listen, D-ball is not a safe drug to just take. It's gonna ruin everything. Yeah, you're gonna gain a lot of weight at first. Then you're gonna lose it all and feel like shit. So he got the D-ball, took two pills a day, doesn't know what milligram, they just say, hey, take two a day. They don't know if it's 100 milligrams or five milligrams. You don't know, you haven't researched, you don't know what you're doing. This also applies with SARMs. Nowadays, people don't really take steroids that often. I'm telling you they don't. Everybody, not everybody. Most people are starting with SARMs. They're easier to get. It's not really illegal in most countries. So that's what most people are taking. Oh, it's just a pill, it's just a liquid. It's not injection. Ah, no big deal. It's not just a no big deal. It might be a big deal, especially if you do it wrong, okay? There's always a danger. Always do your research, always be careful, and always tell your doctor you don't wanna ruin your health. So he does the D-ball, which doesn't work because it's probably fake. Then he says, hey, I need something stronger. So they go to another guy's house and it's like, yeah, you should take testosterone and trend. 
That'll work. So I was going back to the guy and I was like, bruh, this is shit, man. This is not good stuff. This is not working for me. I need better. So they're like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, I know exactly what you need to do. So he's never done anything in his life. He's an 18 year old kid. And not, I'm not just gonna take testosterone. I'm gonna take testosterone and trend. Trend being one of the harshest things you can take on his first cycle. Do you really think he would have needed all that for it to work? But you're caught up in the moment, you're listening to your friend or the guy that has all that muscle and you just do whatever they say. You don't know if they actually know what they're talking about. Take test and trend, is that gonna work? Of course it's gonna work. Is it what you need? No. Is it safe? No. Is it healthy? No, but it's gonna work. And you get caught up, you want that body that you saw in that Instagram photo or that YouTube video. So I mean, this is the most stupid thing in my life I did probably. Okay, so I went there and I couldn't even do this myself. Like, I mean, I'm scared of needles and like, I should inject something, bro, are you ridiculous or what? I can't do this, man, sorry, no, I'm out. So it's like, no, 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 no. Anyways, the truth is, he just tried to sell me the stuff that he didn't need, bro, can you imagine? So he was- So the guy he bought the test and trend from, he sold him those drugs, not because that was the best thing for him. It was what he had sitting around that he didn't want, that he wanted to sell him. He didn't care about him, he just wanted to make money. And he's like, I have this, buy this. I'm not saying take steroids or don't take steroids. I'm saying be smart about it. You decide for yourself. If it's legal, do your thing, okay? Make sure you don't break the law. I'm not suggesting you start taking steroids and I'm not saying to stop. I'm saying use your brain, okay? Try using your brain. It's there for a reason. After like three days, I feel like, holy moly, broski, my, my, my nipples are hurting like crazy, you know, my tits. What is this shit, man? Side effects. He was getting gyno, his nipples were hurting. He didn't know what to do. So he started doing research Said, hey, I need some kind of anti-estrogen. They gave him Nova. He was like, ah, it's still not working. He might've needed a prolactin. He didn't know what to do. So he was suffering, had all this pain, decided to stop because in his earlier days, I mean, he's still a teenager. He was like, ah, steroids, it's cheating. You don't do that. And uh, back in the days, I was still like this whole hardcore Nettie guy who was like, I will never take anything. And everyone who takes everything is an asshole because they're cheating. And this is not good, and yeah, this is how you think, bro, because everyone who's taking something doesn't need to work hard, which isn't true, because they also have to work really hard. It might just enhance us. Same as me, trust me. I had the same thought exactly. I'm never gonna take steroids my whole life. When I was younger, no way would I ever take it. Decades go by and you can kind of change the way you think, okay? So for me, when I was young, totally was against it. Now, as you can see, I'm clearly not against it when I'm literally on it. But it still didn't wear off, you know, the story is like, fuck, when I had problems with my nipples for like eight months, like seriously, bro. And the next problem was I completely crashed my own homos. Eight months for the nipple problem to go away. Eight months of pain and not knowing what to do. He also had his testosterone levels crash. You take tests in trend, your body's like, hey, look at all these steroids that are coming in my body. I don't need to produce testosterone anymore. Shuts down, then you're probably supposed to do a PCT. Now are you? Guess what? PCTs don't always work. You may to need to do this properly and I just wanna make this video because I know in fact, someone of you guys is out there in the gym showing you best made my pictures and it's like, this is how I need to look, brother. Can you help me? And then your mate goes like, I know exactly what you need. So the problem is you see your favorite fitness model. It could be Joe, it could even be me. And you're like, well, they aren't natural. They're probably blasting every single drug in the sun. You talk to your steroid dealer, whoever your friend is that you're getting it from. And you're like, hey, I wanna look like this. What do I take? And you're like, oh geez. You need these 10 things. More things they sell, the more money they make. Maybe you needed just one thing. And maybe all those 10 things just gonna make you look worse. Bigger, sure. Bigger with gyno, acne, and bloated? Is that really better? I get it all the time. People hire me. They send me a picture saying, I wanna look like this in six months. And I could spend all day saying, don't take this and don't take that. At the end of the day, they're like, just tell me what I could take to do that. I'm like, even if you took every single drug possible, for three years, you're probably not gonna look like that and you wanna look like that in three months. That's what people think. They overestimate what steroids can do. Of course they work, but they work really well in people that respond really well to it. Everyone can gain muscle, not everyone can be a fitness model. You can take every freaking steroid in the world, every PD, every kind, 
at the top dose from the best coach in the world. And if your genetics stuck, you're still gonna look shitty. You're not gonna look amazing. You think it's just the PEDs that give these looks, it's not. People like Joe, or even me, natural, still gonna look amazing. The steroids just put you a little bit better. Just makes you 10% better than you are. Think of it like that. Icing on the cake. Sure, the icing is valuable, it's important, it adds a lot of taste to the cake, but it's only the icing on the cake. You still need the cake, and the cake is the training and eating right and sleeping, the whole thing, okay? Just because you take PDs doesn't mean you're going to look amazing. I know you want to hear that. You want me to make a video and say, oh yeah, it's just because they're on steroids, that's why they look so good. Take the steroids away, and all the IB Pro bodies, all these fitness models are still going to look ridiculously good, just smaller less muscle, still ripped and all these things. Stairs are not burning all the fat off your body. It's not gonna make you look lean. The reason I have this level of leanness, not because of my HRT, it's because of my cardio, the training, and the amount of calories that I'm eating. So he went off PDs for a full year. Went and got his blood work done, it didn't feel good. Testosterone levels were still crashed. I did the same thing, not for a year, I did the same thing. Doctor tested me twice, sent me to the endocrinologist, finally got a prescription from a doctor for HRT. Because I'd abused steroids for so long that my body wasn't coming back to normal. Just because you do a PCT, I did two PCTs, and I know how to do a PCT. Didn't work. Maybe if I'd stayed off for several years, it would've came back to normal. Didn't feel like feeling like shit for a couple of years, I'm on HRT. Sorry, y'all think I'm on 20 different drugs, or even two or three, whatever. No, you can do HRT and still get amazing results, especially if you already did amazing results without it. Remember, I was a high level bodybuilder, natural. National champion, natural. So obviously even without testosterone, my body, it grows very easily. I have great genetics, I'm lucky. Luckier than probably 99% of you or whatever. Doesn't mean I'm on a bunch of gear. Same as Joe, just because he looks amazing doesn't mean he's abusing a lot of steroids. It doesn't work like that. So many people take massive doses and look like poop. Trust me, I've coached them. What are you taking? Really? That's like more than I would have ever taken and they don't even look like they work out. Sorry, they don't. It's not their fault, they're training properly. They have horrible genetics. They chose the wrong parents. Or just the thing that I did, your estrogen bounces up. You know, you're getting a lot of mindfuck actually going on, which can make you depressed. And then also my own test level, they didn't really come back. I didn't do any PCT. The second time when I went off and I was at the doctor, just now I wanted to make this clear that I'm not natural. Well, most people already knew that. I even did a Natty or Not video, and it's not like he has never admitted it, but a lot of people think, hey, is he natural or not? And he's like, look, I don't want to bullshit you. I'm just telling you what I'm literally doing. I just want to be honest. He's not trying to bullshit. I don't want you to think I'm on massive doses, but I'm not natural. I'm on a prescription from a doctor, testosterone, and it helps me feel good all the time. When you cycle steroids, you feel like Superman for a while and like shit for a while and it comes and goes. I went to the doctor, I made sure that I can get everything that I need, everything that is required legitimately, that I don't get in trouble with the law, that I can travel around the world and take that stuff with me, that I have my prescriptions, that I get my blood works done, that I see all these things going on. They're not over prescribing, they're not giving him so much drugs in big cycles. It looks like it. Sure, he looks so lean and looks so good that you're thinking, how? He must be taking these extra drugs he's not talking about. No, it doesn't work like that. If you have amazing genetics, you can take a teensy wincy amount of something and still look amazing. And if you have really amazing genetics, you can take zero steroids and be like, wow, I can't believe it. Rare guys, one in a thousand, one in a million, whatever, even while they're natural, will look better than 99% of people on steroids. Now, if those people take steroids, like Joe, if Joe's on HRT right now and he doubles the dose, triples it, he's gonna gain even more muscle, obviously. He just doesn't want that. He wants to be healthy, he wants to feel good all the time. He doesn't need to be huge. He's happy with how he looks. And what do I tell people? This is my advice. Take the lowest dose that makes you happy. Whatever the lowest dose is, it's safer. As the doses go up, the dangers go up. 
the lowest dose that makes you happy, that you can live with, is what you should take. Obviously, after discussing with your doctor. I want to share my experience because I know there's a lot of people out there like you, bro, they're still doing all these kind of things. And I want to warn you, and I want to make sure that you are not going out and ruin your health and you ruin your body and you ruin your life because you are just following some stupid advice of a guy in your gym or maybe some guy in the internet that you just found. I don't want to give you advice. I just want to talk about my experience and warn you. I'm telling you, don't do steroids if it's not necessary needed. Seems like pretty good advice to me. Now, not everybody's going to listen. So what's the advice then? See your doctor, get your health checked. I don't judge, do whatever you want, but just don't, don't say I only look like this because I do all these kind of things. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm doing and what I'm really doing. And it's so little, it's so slightly, man. It's like Coach Greg sits there, it's like on TRT, and it's literally what I am. Mean. I'm on TRT, my friends. Holy fuck, man. I'm getting a hard, high, <laughs> high heart rate because this is a very emotional moment for me. Like I said, I, I didn't even think about coming up with this, but I'm just sick and tired of all these people hating you. Like, you're not real, you're not real. You're just lying, you wanna sell. So he's getting pumped, his heart rate's pumping up. He's screaming at the camera. He's like Coach Greg. Sometimes I do these videos and I'm sweating right through my shirt. It happens. You get passionate, you express yourself. Okay, that's what's happening to Joe. He's getting a sore throat from yelling now. He even mentioned, Coach Greg, he's on HRT, same thing. He's doing the same thing as me. You guys say, oh, HRT doesn't really work. Working for me, working for Joe. Not everybody on HRT is going to look like us. In fact, nobody is. Almost no one on HRT is going to look like me or Joe. Maybe 1% if you're lucky. But hey, whatever you look like now, and if you feel like shit and you go on HRT, it's going to get better. It is. It works. It doesn't work to the degree that maybe some of you think. Some of you think it goes from being normal person to superhero comic book character. No, even with massive steroid doses, that doesn't happen in most people. Some, yes. Some are lucky. I hope you appreciate it, like, that I come up with this. And I do this for you, man. I do this for you to share my experience, to warn people that they don't are as stupid as I was. Joe is not BSing you. He's not lying to you. He's not pretending to be a fake natty. He's not doing anything to just sell you things, okay? He's being honest. He just wants to help. I mean, it's very obvious. If you just watch the video, you should believe what he's saying. It's very apparent to me. I can tell. I know what I'm talking about. Don't believe me? Watch the video yourself. And in it here, gregdoucette.com for coaching, Greg Doucette, IFB Pro. You know the drill. Watch at least one of those two videos. And until next time, I am out. Mm -hmm.